new zone, new class, new PvP, all that right now in the roadmap to Diablo Immortal in the next coming two months. That's right, two months. We're getting all three of those previously listed things. I could not be more excited. Let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, like I said, we have a lot of content coming in the next couple months. I almost said weeks, couple of months. So we're raising hell at Diablo Immortal, turning one year old. So this is the uh, sort of one year anniversary for Diablo Immortal, as well as they're going to be doing like a hybrid Diablo 4 launch with Diablo Immortal. But let's jump straight into it. So on June 2nd, so most some of this content, I almost said most some it, it feels like most based off reading it. So most of the content will be coming on June 2nd and the rest of it will be coming in July. So June 2nd, uh, we are turning one years old. So it's time to gaze into the flames and provide a bird's eye view of the upcoming Diablo uh, 4 launch uh, and Diablo Immortal event with Lilith themed cosmetics, new zone and new class. Now I did mention new PVP because it is mentioned in this as well. So let's jump straight into it. So the creation of sanctuary by, all right, well, this is just the, you know, whatever, but the, uh, M malicious monastery event uh children of lilith battle pass and a hatred heritage phantom market so i don't the first one just seems like it's an event um the second one is what seems to be either just a themed battle pass name or maybe it's like an empowered battle pass uh because it's the one year it'll include more fun good loving awesome things um very curious if this will be like a pay to win thing or a free to play thing um uh, for one year anniversary you would really hope a game would give give more than um than it would take for the one year anniversary, but it'll be really interesting to see how Blizzard and NetEase uh, handle this. So, um, and in the Phantom Market, we know what this is. This is the uh, multi, multi hundred dollar cross class cosmetic skins. Um, so this one actually came back quicker than the last one did. Uh, the first one that we got went several months without another one coming. And then this one seemingly is almost a month and a half, maybe two um, after the previous one came out. So interesting there. Uh, your opportunity to uh, to let sin flow freely will arrive in early June. Again, June second is the date there. Discovery, uh, discover the cradle of sanctuary. So your pursuit of the cult of terror will lead you uh, in Zathan to a mystical island inhabited by a re uh, reclusive people that locates uh, to its ancient's cradle. So in mid June, mid June. So th this will all be added in the June second update but will not be active in game until after mid June. So two weeks later, you'll embark on the next chapter of the main quest line. So new main quest line story, which is pretty cool and discover a new PVP zone event. Interesting. There's a new PVP I mentioned earlier, side quest, bounties and enemy types along the way. So new side quest, new bounties. That's that in itself. Holy cow. Hopefully we get some new shadow when you're a shadow shadow quest. Cause I feel like I get the same like four. Um, over and over again so that would be great but a new pvp zone we're going to speculate that um, obviously it's going to be on the island very really interested to see what that's going to be like uh, hopefully it's like a just up all the time thing and not just a you know truly uh an event like similar to other events like when you have to just do unlock it based off doing certain things in the game and then all of a sudden you trigger it and boom you get to do the event and then checks the box whatever you get the by guiling whatever the hell they are dust um a monstrous new class so this is the first official well i guess second official reference from blizzard about the new class coming to the game and they confirm when it's coming the new class uh and it, the class bleeds new blood into diablo immortal now we all know this has to has to has to be the blood knight um, but we cannot wait. Uh, it will be coming in July. Don't know if that's early July, mid July, late July, but it'll be coming in July. So exactly two months from now, we will have our hands on the Blood Knight. Now, if you guys want to plan ahead and are interested in maining the Blood Knight, I will be making several videos on how to best prepare for that. So make sure you like this video. Show me that's the content you want to see. Let me know in the comments below as well as smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I want to make sure I get you guys as hyped and as ready for the Blood Knight before it even gets here. That way, you can be light years ahead of everyone else. Now, looking forward. So this is, again, a small piece. This is not a patch notes. This is just a sort of, hey guys, happy birthday, one year. This is a roadmap for the next two months. A lot of fun stuff happening. Can't wait to do it. So that's basically all they're saying here. And that's basically all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna keep this video really short. Let me know if you do wanna see more videos about how to prepare for the Blood Knight, because I do think that there's a lot of stuff you could do right now to prepare for it. So make sure you let me know in the comments below if that's what you wanna see. And until next time, guys, lock it in.